Our journey began at 4am when we took a flight to Venice. We boarded the Costa Luminosa and spent a week cruising around Greece and Italy. This was one of the cheapest cruises I've ever been on, but it was fantastic, so keep watching this video. There she is, even though you can't see her in the fog, the Costa Luminosa. We have to put our luggage labels on our bags. Into embarkation. Exciting. Not too busy. And we are off, ready to board. Really excited. We don't have our cruise cards yet, but I think they're in our room. They're not here anyway. There is the Costa Funnel. Really, really excited to get on board. We can go straight to our room and pick up our cruise card. Oh, and then they have these machines for the credit card, Mum. I love the lovely lights. Disco. Cool. I'm lost. Here is a bar. I think I'm gonna have fun doing my ship tour of this. It is so colourful. We're on Smeraldo. Alright, we are looking for 8208. This way. Found our room. Oh, it's actually for an inside cabin. It's pretty big. Hmm. Nothing particularly exciting, but nothing horrible. It's quite yellow, quite red. It's a big, there's a lot of room on the floor there for an inside cabin. There is a mini bar under lock and key, I think. A TV. A mirror. Our luggage is here already. All our cruise cards, supposed to be on the bed, yep. Our life jackets are here. And our cruise cards are here. Oh my gosh. Yes, mine's got the picture of the naked statue on it. That's just what I wanted. So this says on it where we are dining. We are 67, is that the same table as mum and dad? And we are first sitting. We check out the bathroom. Max is opening the door for me. <laughs> oh, we got a shower. The light is taking its time. A very, very pink sink. A very pink floor. It's quite a fair size though. I think we will be just okay here. Oh, there is a bed up there for a third passenger. Gonna have to make them change the bed into a twin because I do not want to share with my brother, Max. We've got quite a lot of wardrobe space here, some towels and a safe that I managed to fit my MacBook Air in, which is always a bonus. Some cups, some water we're not gonna drink because it'll probably cost us money. And the mini bar is oh no ours isn't locked. Mum and Dad's was locked. We're clearly more trusted than them. Yeah, there's no thing here to put your card in to turn the lights on. The lights are just on, so that's good. The chargers won't turn off when we leave. Your cabin steward is Prime, Optimus Prime. Cool. On to the buffet taking this with me. This is cool. Inside pool. I've got kind of Chinese with potatoes and sausages. <laughs> I have filmed a full ship tour which I will link to in the description and the YouTube card here. I definitely recommend you check that out after this video. It's unlike any cruise ship I've ever seen. It's so colourful, it's just mad. This is probably the only time I'm going to go inside the gym. And that is just to show you around because I don't go in the gym on cruises.
Hey guys, it is Emma here. We have just got into our cabin on board the Costa Luminosa and now we have to go out to a mustard drill. It doesn't say what time the mustard drill is, they just do the seven blasts. You have to come back to your cabin, get your life jacket, put it on and go to your muster station. I guess that makes more sense. For a real emergency that is what you would do. But not knowing when the time is of the drill is really bizarre. As soon as you hear the general emergency signal, which is made up of seven short blasts, followed by one long blast, Proceed to your cabin, take your life jacket, your Costa card, and check behind the door which muster station you belong to. Well, that was quite something. That was just standing on the promenade deck while people shouted at each other in Italian, pretty much. But we've done it, so now we can get on with our cruise. Oops. We've met our cabin man. He's going to make our bed into two beds so I don't have to share a bed with my brother, which is great. We've got early dining, which is what we wanted, and just a table for four of us. So that is perfect. We'll look forward to that and see you later. So this is our daily schedule, daily itinerary. I assume that means something about diary of on board. Uh, we're going to go to dinner now in the main restaurant. It looks like there's quite a lot going on. I assume there's no dress code because it doesn't say that there's a dress code. And I assume they'd have to tell me. So I'm going in my jeans and we'll see what happens. <laughs> I really don't understand this menu. I don't know if I'm supposed to have one of each of these things and a starter and a dessert. Or this is like paid extra stuff. Or No idea. I'm trying to get some water. What did you do? How did you get it to get some water? Put my hand on it. Help. <laughs> oh, <my> oh. <laughs> Costa's app is free to use and it's pretty good. It's got a map, all the usual things on it. But what I'm trying to show here is that the buffet closes at 8:30 p.m. It's quite a cool little map. Next door. There was a party this night which went on late into the night. It was very loud, it was very lively. There's confetti, there's balloons, there's music, there's dancing. It's very a live ship and that's one of my favourite things about the Costa Luminosa. I have made a separate video detailing my favourite things about the ship, about the cruise in general, which I will link to in the description and the YouTube card, but just how full of life this ship is has got to be one of my favourite things. It's completely filled with music and there's always things going on. I wish that I could just play you the music from this video and everyone singing, but YouTube copyright rules mean that I can't. It was very loud and just take my word for it, it was a fun party. We went for a walk around the ship later. I love walking around the ship at night. It's just cool to see it so empty. You can see into the main dining rooms here. They're setting up for the second seating of dinner. We always have early seating. We then went on to the theatre and this is one of my favourite things about the ship as well. This theatre is huge and it's so crazy coloured. The entertainment was actually really good on board, better than I thought it would be. Yes, they have made our bed into two beds. That is much better. Hey guys, I've just got back from the evening show and that certainly was entertaining. They have the same problem that they have on MSC in that they can't really speak a language because there's maybe like six, seven, eight languages spoken on the ship. So everything is very like arty. And they had one man who started off juggling. Fair enough, he can juggle. Popping these balls in like in the air out of his mouth. Fair enough, very impressive. Then he came out and he was pretty much naked doing these muscly holding poses things and then he started doing these weird weird hand puppets that man has a strange strange set of skills 
I, <laughs> it was entertaining, and that's what I want from entertainment. It was about 45 minutes long, maybe. The theatre is really cool looking. For a first day, I think we've had quite a good day. The thing that I would say is probably not really for me is the dining, because we are table sharing, and dinner took two plus hours, because there's five courses. If I was going by myself, I probably would only want three courses, but because we're table sharing, you have to kind of... Well, you have to wait for everybody else, so that's the thing that I don't really like about this so far. I know so many people love table sharing, so many people love set dining, and if you do, it's perfect. But I think I'm going to end up maybe not set dining every single night. I will do it again, but probably not every night, just because I suppose it is an Italian thing. I think in Italy they like eating together and chatting and they spend all evening doing it. But for me, normally in my normal life, I just eat dinner in front of the TV and then get on with my evenings. But the actual food was pretty good, no complaints there. I'm going to go to bed now because I've been up since 4 in the morning, 4am. It is about 11pm now and I'm so tired. But yeah, I'm having quite a good time. I'm quite impressed with Costa. This is definitely not an old person's cruise ship. There's so many kids, there's so many teenagers, there's people my age. There's music going on all night, it seems like, till at least one in the morning. I don't know, I'm not staying up that late, but this is definitely not an old person ship. It is fun, I'm liking it. If you are wondering why my hair looks like this, I braved the shave for Macmillan, I shaved my head for a cancer charity on my last cruise, and this is what it's growing back like, so I'm having to deal with it, you're just gonna have to deal with it too, so. If you haven't watched the video of me shaving my head yet, I will link to it in the description because it's quite a video and it's not something I do all the time, but I'm very, very glad it's done. I just can't wait until my hair has grown back. It is very sneaky. They've put the mini bar on the side. I do not want that there or I will probably eat it. So let's put it away. It doesn't need to be out. It all came from in there, I think. Fits. <laughs> Problem solved. Make sure you check out my other Costa videos. I loved my first Costa cruise, even if it was insane. It was so cheap and I have a video about how I got this cruise so cheap. I will link to that also in the description. Please subscribe if you like this and I will see you in the next video.